Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Phoenix Raceway for the Bumper Safe 500. It's a hot day here in the Grand Canyon State to see who will be the second racer to punch their ticket to Miami instead of declaring who is the 2024 champion. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Ed Truncan in his second pole start with Brian Spark trying to break his long winless streak since he won the end school Colo 600 back in May. In row two, Daniel Suarez looking fast during practice, trying to be the first International Piston Cup champion and match the Dragon 4000 with a great run after finishing sixth place. In row three, Lightning McQueen trying to win again after a close win at Las Vegas and H.J. Hollis trying to win his first race of the 2024 season with three more races to go. In row four, Cruz Ramirez trying to get into the championship four after a tight finish at Las Vegas with J.D. McPillar and Brandon Powercar starting in eighth place. In row five, Chase Raceline Phil Tankson. In row six, Jackson Storm and Colin Bargain. In row seven, Bubba Wheelhouse and last week's winner, J.D. McPillar. In row eight, Cal Wetters and Bobby Swift, the spring race winner. And starting in row nine are Terry Cargas and Ryan Laney. Here's the race format, 16 laps, 17.31 miles around the 1.08 mile track and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. The pace car is up for the pits, meanwhile 18 racers are ready to we're all here at Phoenix Raceway. This is part two of Duels in the Desert. Meanwhile, last week was the Strat 400 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Now we're here at Phoenix Raceway for the Bumper Safe 500. Meanwhile, Ed Truncan and Brian Spark will lead the field to the green flag, and the Bumper Safe 500 is underway. There are three wide coming out of turn number one, and Daniel Suarez will take the lead. Meanwhile, behind the leaders are four wide. Brian Sparks slams the wall. That's pretty crazy. The ones in white are regular. The ones in blue are in the playoffs, and the one in gold is, has events to the championship four. Meanwhile, Daniel Suarez leads the first lap with the bumper safe 500. It's going to be hard for me to say everything that is happening because this track is pretty fast. It's one mile. Meanwhile, Cruz Ramirez is trying to go back up after a tight finish at Las Vegas last week against number four, Jay McPillar. Here's a look at his teammate, Master Dragon 4000, trying to avenge his playoff in elimination. Now here is a battle for second place, side by side against the number 33 of Ed Drunken, Lightning McQueen. That turn is pretty tricky to go through. Cruz Ramirez also trying to join the battle. Now they're three wide behind the leaders. Trouble front straightaway. Jackie McPillar gets turned by the number 24 chase race slide. Ryan Laney slams the dog led safer barrier wall. Hard. Ouch. That's just one word to say ouch. And Terry Cargas has been involved in another wreck again. Here's a look at what just happened. The 24 made contact, then the 21 just bumped into the number 4, and the 31 just ran over the 21 for no good reason. The 21 made a hard lick. Alright, here it is with the spectator camera. 21 got involved and then had nowhere else to go. Here's an onboard with Terry Cargas. Good thing we have safer barriers, otherwise that would have been a disaster. We'll be right back since J.D. McPillar and Ryan Laney bring up the first caution of the day. 
Welcome back to the Bumper Save 500. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car. Meanwhile, Daniel Suarez in the radio, he's been all focused and quiet. He has not replied to his team. I feel like he's, that could mean he could try to win this race. Meanwhile, Lightning McQueen is just thinking of a plan trying to pass the 019 to Daniel Suarez. Since he has not been good since the race at Chicago. And Cruz Ramirez is also thinking of another strategy trying to win the race and get into the championship four. We're ready for the halfway jam. Meanwhile, everybody are lining up two by two. We're about to restart double file. The pace car is off the pits. Daniel Suarez and Lightning McQueen are about to lead the field back to the green flag. Now they enter turn three, ready to enter the restart zone in turn four. Here we go, crank up your volume and enjoy the halfway jam. Trouble front straight away. Cruz Ramirez gets turned and hits number 10 of Colin Bargain. The caution is out again. Man, that's going to be a huge black eye for Cruz Ramirez. That's a championship contender right there. And also Colin Bargain with side damage. That is not good. The 33 made contact with the number 10. It slams the 10's side. I'm not sure Colin Bargain is going to be happy with that. And Cruz Ramirez almost hit the inside wall and ruined her day. Here's a helicopter view. Yeah, she almost ruined her day with that inside wall. Ooh, that's pretty scary to see if you feel tanks and... We'll be right back since Cruz Ramirez and Colin Bargain bring up the second caution of the day. Welcome back to the Bumper Safe 500. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car. And we're not having a halfway jam. We're not going to have an onboard with the cars. So we're just going back and covering the race. And also we're going to go back with three laps to go this time. We wasted most of our time with caution laps. I feel like it's the racer's fault or this track is way too slick because it's 95 degrees Fahrenheit here at Phoenix. So it's like a 20 degree difference than we were at Las Vegas because it was all windy and cold. All right, the pace car is up to the pits. Well, it's already in the pits. All right, who's gonna win this race? Bo Wheelhouse or Daniel Suarez? Let's see. Once they enter the restart zone. All right, here they go through the restart zone. The green flag is back in the air here at Phoenix. Three laps to go here at Phoenix Raceway for the Bumper Safe 500. Bubba Wheelhouse versus Daniel Suarez for the lead. Daniel Suarez takes back the lead like McQueen trying to pass those front cars. There's three wide behind the leader. Colin Bargain versus H.J. Hollis. Colin Bargain hungry for another win trying to get into championship four. Meanwhile, Daniel Suarez will lead them back with two laps to go here at Phoenix Raceway. Lightning McQueen is also being competitive. Colin Bargain trying to reach that number 019 car. Also, Brian Spark Hungry with another win. Here's an onboard for Lightning McQueen. Alright, we're back. Daniel Suarez is entering turn 3. Are we going to have another overtime restart of the 2024 season? Nope. The white flag is out one more time around here at Phoenix Raceway. Daniel Suarez trying to run away with the championship four spot at a homestead miami speedway now coming out turn number two and they're gonna have to go through that old front straightway for the final time now to turn three 
Here you go. Daniel Suarez is going to win that Phoenix Raceway. Congratulations to Daniel Suarez for winning the Bumper Safe 500 and advancing to the championship four. A close one for Brian Spark and Colin Bargain, including Lightning McQueen. Wow. With that finish, both Colin Bargain and Lightning McQueen are one point behind. We'll see in the playoff standings after we we're done with the official results. Here are the official results. Bubba Wheelhouse is the fastest car of the day. Here are the playoff standings after this race. J.D. McPillar and Daniel Suarez are now in the championship four. Cruz Ramirez is still above the cutoff line. And it's going to be competitive next week because Colin Bargain and Lightning McQueen will be fighting for a spot in the championship four. And Bobby Swift is now in a must-win situation. Next week, we're racing at Martinsville Speedway for the Easy Auto 500 starting Wednesday, October 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat 127, signing out.